In this video, we're going to build out an invoice and proposal in Depsado. So let's dive in. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey from Design by Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I also like to teach other creatives, especially in the wedding industry, how to run successful, profitable businesses. A big part of that is having a good client management system. Um, so I review a bunch of them on my channel. I have a whole playlist on a bunch of different systems, compare and contrast, um, and giving you tutorials so you can see the in-depth analysis of <laughs> how to use these systems to make your life easier. Dubsado is the system that I actually use for my wedding invitation and clients. Um, and I do have a code as a certified Dubsado specialist that will get you 30% off, which is designed by Lainey. That link will be in the description of this video too. So I have this project created. I filmed a video doing that if you're not sure how to create projects. Um, it's in Dubsado. The project is already here. So now we need to build out an invoice and proposal. And why we need to build out the invoice first is because it's set up in our proposals. So I'll show you what that looks like. So when we go into our forms, um, our proposals, we are going to use this day of proposal. And our proposals look really short and simple, and that is on purpose. I like to keep things simple. So all I have here are these smart fields. The name, client name, it's going to fill in whatever the client name is here. Wedding due date, it's going to fill in the job date here. And then we have job invoice items and total job invoice total. That's basically it. I have two things here about just terms and conditions and someone has to check and if they agree to those above two policies. Um, and that is literally everything that's on this proposal, but it doesn't really look like much. So that's because we have to fill in the invoice items first. There's other things that you can put on this. I'll show you a different one that I use. This one is for custom invitations and it's got a little bit more information. This is about you know, what to do and the process. And then we have frequently asked questions and some examples of uh, some of our mock-ups so that people can see what they look like, how many extras they can order, changes to the proposal, etc. But then after that, we basically just got this same exact thing. And then a little bit of information about what's next. These people are usually spending a little bit more. The proposal is a little bit more complicated. So I like to guide them. My day of clients usually have already worked with me before. And so it's pretty simple or they have a much more simple order. So now we're back in this project and we're just going to go into the invoices tab and I'll show you what my planner sent. So we need a welcome sign file, um, a bar sign, which they usually do eight by 10, um, menus, escort cards, and dessert labels. And they've given me basically all the information. I work with this planner a lot too, so I know kind of what they need. So I might infer a little bit. Um, so we'll do, we'll put all this together. First we need to add the invoice and then I'll show you how to add a, a line item a line item by itself. So you just click new line item. Um, I'm going to do welcome sign file. As you can see, I've done that before. Description is a great place for just anything that they might need to know about this, like reiterating that this is a file, nothing printed is going to be delivered for this line item. Um, you can do a lot of things here, anything that's kind of noteworthy. We're going to have one of those um, and it's $65. So you can decide to add tax on a line item basis if you need to. And then your category is for the bookkeeping features reporting over here in Dubsado. Uh, so you can go ahead and list what that's going to be. I don't really use Dubsado for bookkeeping. I have it integrated with QuickBooks and so I use that for all my reporting. Um, so I'm not going to categorize this at this time. And then you just click add item. There we go. There's also an easier way to do this that I'll show you on some of the other line items. I have a whole video about creating packages. Uh, so once you have created them, you can use them to add to invoices really easily. So let's see, we have two eight by 10 signs. So when I go into packages, I can just find my eight by 10 printed sign and then I'll go in and add, change the quantity to two. And it just saves me a little bit of work there. I can do the same thing with our menus, five by seven eggshell menus. And then I just need to change her quantity, which is 275. And that's a lot, that's enough to get them a price break. So I'm just gonna bring this down uh, to 140 because that's their price break there. Let's see, 275 escort cards. Those are handwritten, I forget if I actually have a package for that. I think it's a little outdated, oh it's not. Great, okay. <laughs> um, and we will change those to 275. There is no price break because this is something that I just have to do by hand for each one. And when you have the packages, some of the category stuff will already be on there. You can also set up taxes. You can set up 
all of those things in packages. Watch that video if you haven't done that before. But this is a good example of um, putting some description in here. So the calligraphy escrow cards tinted on any color paper in any color ink from our selection. Um, one name per card only. So if someone tries to do couples, they know and they're not surprised that it's an upgrade cost. Lastly, we have 10 dessert labels. I bill those basically the same as escort cards uh, because they're pretty much the same thing in the case of this planner. We have 10 of them. And just in case they decide to do a different color and I have to order the minimum, like if I have to just order 285 instead of 275, for these escort cards, it's not gonna cost any more, but if I have to order a different color and I have to get the minimum, it's gonna cost a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those as $3 because it's a low quantity and that gives them the ability to do that. It's more of a pricing discussion than a Dubsado discussion. Um, and then I'll put, change the title to um, dessert labels. I would put the description and stuff. This client knows me just so well. Um, and this client also gets uh, free shipping. So we'll just say shipping and it will be Compt TCA, which is the name of the company. I like to put that on there because it makes the planner look good to the client. They're like, oh, I'm so glad I'm getting this free shipping because I'm working with this planner. And then that means that planner's happy with me because I've made their life a little easier. So they're gonna keep referring me clients. Um, and then I'm gonna show, I'm just gonna put zero quantity, but put the cost on here um, so that they kind of know what they're saving, which is nice. So once I've built out this invoice, um, we can go ahead and add that proposal. So you'll go over to forms and we'll get our day of proposal. And now, okay, it looks exactly the same. Sometimes you need to add it and refresh sometimes. So if it ever happens that something's not filling in, just give it a little refresh. That happens sometimes. So now that we have that proposal, it looks a little bit more exciting because that smart field of the invoice and the invoice totals have filled in. So now everything we put on the invoice is in there. It looks a little bit more interesting. And then they're able to look at that, agree to the policies and submit. So there are a lot of ways to do proposals in Dubsado and I'll show you a couple other ways in a different video, but this is my simplest way to do it. Um, just by building out that invoice, it's solid, it's really easy to do. I can use the packages, I have everything right there ready to go. Um, and then it fills automatically into the proposal. So I think this is a great way if you're building out custom packages. Um, and then there's a couple other options I'll show you in a different video where if you're using more standard packages, um, you can let people really select what they want um, and pick and choose from different options. But a lot of my stuff is too many options. Like, do they want this welcome sign as a file or in real life? And if they want it in real life, do they want it on cardstock or foam board? And what size do they want? And there's just so many different options for each individual piece that this way is a little bit easier for me. But then um, I'll use some of the other options for like semi-custom suites and things like that. And if you are, for instance, a photographer who has set packages, then you'll like some of the other options. So make sure you check out that video um, on our channel as well. While you're here, watch all of our other Dubsado videos um, and other client management systems if you're still deciding which one is right for you. And I have a discount code for 30% off your first month or year with Dubsado, which is designed by Lainey. So I hope you'll use that if you end up signing up. Let me know what questions you have about Dubsado and thanks for joining.